Home now, sentencing is expected in double murder. Accused Vincenzo Pietripaolo's case today. The High Court in Johannesburg has found that the former treasurer of the Bank of Athens guilty of murdering his father and his wife. Ballistics have shown the same gun that killed his father in his sleep is the gun that killed his wife. Our reporter Heidi Jokas has been following the story and joins us from outside the court. Rather harrowing statements made yesterday, Heidi, from the family and those who suffered such loss. Most definitely, uh, Jane. I must say that uh, this is one of the most harrowing stories I've ever had to cover. Uh, just hearing the evidence in court yesterday, uh, how exactly this was planned for both the murder of his father uh, as well as uh, of his wife seven months later. So we understand that the, uh, the treasurer of the Bank of, An uh, of Athens, uh, Vincenzo Pitrapalo, has been found guilty of uh, the murder of his father as well as of his wife. Um, initially, police had thought that uh, it was a botched robbery in March of 2017 uh, when they found uh, his father actually in the bed with three uh, gunshot wounds um, and later it was established when he actually shot his wife nine times uh, at the front door of the house that they used to share uh, that it was in fact um, uh, Petra Paolo who in fact killed his father in March. It was the same gun. He actually stole two guns out of the safe of his father's house uh, and the one gun he used to also um, kill his wife. So uh, we understand that when the court had asked him if he was uh, guilty of killing his wife. He initially denied this, and later on he said that uh, he went to drop off uh, documents. He was actually just going to drop off documents in the post box, and that's when his wife uh, apparently called him to the door. And he says the only reason why he discharged the firearm was because uh, he was provoked by an emotional storm uh, from his wife, and this is why he decided to discharge the firearm. He says he didn't have any intention to killing her or harming her um, and the judge really saying that that is a complete lie because uh, the tracker uh, of his vehicle uh, shows that he was in fact roaming the area an hour before he actually pulled up to the house so uh, the court has found him guilty uh, of uh, premeditated mur murder for both his father as well as his wife mm, and the sister also talking about how much of a bully he was and increasingly so. Tell us briefly, if you will, Heidi, what's going to happen today in the sentencing? Yes, Jane, just to touch on that quickly, when the sister as well as the brother of Pita Paolo uh, stood up yesterday uh, in pre-sentencing uh, mitigation, there was not a dry eye in the gallery, uh, Jane. Everybody started crying, uh, just hearing what kind of person he was and the treatment uh, that he gave to his wife throughout the years. But we understand that today uh, Pita Paolo has asked for a private social worker. This is uh, most likely for pre-sentencing to perhaps give a statement, and then uh, the judge will most likely uh, hand down sentencing. The family has asked for life. They're saying um, this is definitely a gender-based violence case and um, they're saying a life for a life. So we'll have to wait and see what transpires in court today. But uh, emotions are definitely running high. This has been a long three years for the family uh, waiting. There's been delay after delay. So uh, the judge is definitely under pressure to make a decision today. I'm sure. Heidi Jobbers, thank you for that.